guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, come on. Take two. Take three. Take four. Oh, I'm gonna bitch slap you in a minute. Yeah, coming to you from Nottingham City today, guys. Um, we're at Elton Barn uh, camping and fishing. It's about this. Someone's playing my bass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's moving. Someone's definitely playing with a bit. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, we're at a fishery camping and fishing um, with Scott, Amanda, AJ. And Abby, our yearly, our yearly family holiday. Uh, our yearly family holiday. Um, our Scots in, I'm in as well, and the my son is playing with the bait. Whatever it is, God knows. You really had a heart twice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run down once for a bit. Abby, shut up, or you're going to go for a swim. Sorry, guys, I've got two idiots with me at the moment. I do apologise. Yeah, uh, I've just off some trees over there. I'll show you around the bit. Um, and um, yeah, I'm on Robin Red with some fake street corn. So it seems to be doing a trick. Trick is a something's playing with a bait. Whatever it is, it's playing with it. Um, just saw my bobbin going now, so there's definitely something in there. I'm I got a funny feeling though at the moment. It's very hot, so. I think it'll be tonight if anything that we start getting them bites properly. Hmm. Anyway, I'll bring it back a bit. Toodles! Shut up, Abby. Hey guys, bro, so I'll bring you back. Um, I've got the right hand rod out. Uh, left hand rod's ready to go, but I haven't put it out yet. Uh, just about where my finger is, that's where my bait is. Fake sweet corn with a 12 mil uh, Robin Red carp pellet on a uh, size 6 hair rig. Now apparently, uh, according to the lady who owns the place, is a 88 pound catfish in you. And apparently this is the area that it's been seen in. It would be nice. But yeah, there's my setup. Lamming at the ready. Got that the other day. 30 quid as well as my rod hold all no that was 30 quid as well I'm quite chuffed with those investments ignore Scott he's useless Scott, Scott showing off his new rod and reel yeah nice little lake fair play really nice here yeah. I just hope we can get some fish but I got a funny feeling as I said earlier I think it'll be in the nights that we're going to get the fish, if anything. And I'll bring it back in a bit. There we are, guys. Lovely little common. Took my rod, second rod, for a minute. Lift it. And boom. There we are. Just going to give it a quick wave, because it's... Uh, See what weight there is, obviously. Put it back in. You know, it's important to do that. Press the white button. Yeah? Alright. Uh, five pounds? Five pounds. Five pounds dead on. I'm quite chuffed with that. There we are. Lovely, lovely little common. What about? Done. Yeah, get him back in. 
afternoon guys. Well, shown on the last clip. Yeah, five pound common. Well chuffed for that one. It was a little while ago. Uh, but uh, I'm getting logs for the fire pit for tonight. Sorting out other things. Um, I've literally just lost one on the same rod again. Uh, it seems to be the method feeder that's working good for me. I don't want to stick with that. I uh, brought the other rod in because I'm just fed up with tangling up the two when I get the bite. So, and it's not a massive lake, unfortunately, because if it was, I could have one, one way, one the other way, wouldn't bother. But this place is very small. But that was a nice hard fighting carp. I lost it a couple of feet off the bank. So, the fish are here, and I'm hoping to get some more. See you back later. Evening, guys. Saturday night. Or Saturday evening, rather. Just set my traps now for the night. Uh, it's been, oh, I'll show you where I am roughly. I'm about there with the left hand rod, and I'm about there with the right hand rod. I've got two um, Robin Red carp pellets on that rig, and I've got a banana flavour boily on that banana pineapple rig, uh, flavour boily on that rig. It's been a busy evening. Uh, Scott's had two. I've just caught one on the banana and pineapple. Yeah, he's caught a ghosty uh, about five pound. Five three. Five three. Nice, nice, fair play. So yeah, there's definitely fish in here. We just need to catch the buggers now. So, yeah, in all honesty, since it's cooled down, the uh, activity has picked up tremendously on the lake, so it could be a busy night. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, traps are set now. I want to chill with a beer. And uh, be back. Good morning guys, uh, Sunday morning, <coughs> uh, not long ago that, I've reca reca uh, rebated and recast both rods, my left hand rod is out there somewhere, with a fake sweet corn and a robin red carp pallet, and my right hand rod is just off the trees there, with two uh, 12 mil Robin Red boilies. I've ground bait in the entire area as well. Uh, that's on my hair rig, and that's on my method feeder rig. Um, bit of a quiet night, to be honest. Uh, Scott had one bite on his rod, lost it. Um, and another bite on my rod, lost it. Um, but both times, we were both just drifting off to sleep as well. That's been it all night. A couple of line bites, but that's it. Unfortunately, the last fishing. Hopefully, we'll get something now this morning. There are fish rising, so they're definitely around. Just uh, fingers crossed we get something. Uh, something's playing with my bait on the left hand rod. It's beeping constantly, so there's something out there. I just wish it would take the hook. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lovely place, I will be honest, it's a nice, nice little place. Let me pan you around. That's gorgeous, yeah, it really is. Mm. 
scary as look. Oh, did he look cute? Still we can't get a fucking movie. <laughs> Only joke is Scott. Oh, am I? <laughs> Bring him out later, guys. Are we at first leg that you pulled off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Go on, my darling. You ready? Yeah, go on with it. Can you see the bigger Put it on to the end. No, you're going to put some hair on it, isn't it? Yeah. You have to stick her off. Oh. Right. Yeah. Tar it. Yeah, tar it. Put it on. Then we'll wear. Put the fish back on, we'll wear the neck. Alright. And then we'll duck that off. Yeah, alright, alright. You'll go wear. Oh, peels. No way. Pounds. Ten pounds. Fifteen. Guys, lovely ten pound, five ounce, stunning miracle. Absolutely beautiful. Tore off and tangled up both rods, but I'm happy. Let's get her back. First double figure fish of the session, ten pound five to me. So that means I'm in the lead again. Am I right, Scott? Hey, good fish there. I can't, I can't take that away from you. Oh, oh, blimey, you give me praise. You feeling all right? Yeah, hey, two I'm fish this morning. I'm a respectful specimen angler now. Give me strength. Uh, two fish this morning, uh, seven pound, uh, well, six or seven pound. No, we didn't weigh that earlier on. Oh, in the space of half an hour? Yeah, in the space of half an hour, Scott's right there, yeah. And then the ten pound five and the ten pound five mirror just roared off. Did it come from the same spot? Uh, yeah. Both in the same spot, same rod. In the bay. My spot. Number one. So, yeah, hopefully it's first of many today. That was a really good scrap. But, well, yeah, rolled off, twisted up both rods. So I've just got to try and sort that out now. And get them back out there. Bring it back later. So, can we press the photo when I get it up? <laughs> morning, guys. Third fish of the morning. Lovely... Common. About six pounds, six ten pounds. Lovely. Thank you, darling. Mwah. Let's get her back. Do the shower. Hi guys. Uh, right, well it's now 25 past 11 Sunday. Uh, I literally, uh, well, we went for breakfast at a pub down the road, came back and first cast and another fish. So I'm on five now. Only about five pounds, four or five pounds, something like that. Another common. 
but it's work, you know, great fun. Pl plenty of sport. It's good fun, yeah. it really is. So, cast back out. I've only got the one rod out at the moment. I'll put the other one out a bit later. To be honest, I just want to chill out the minute because I'm absolutely shattered. Didn't get much last night at all. But yeah, today so far has been really productive fish boys and long may it continue. See you later. Another lovely uh, common. I think about ten pound. I'm gonna. Whoa! Shit! A brick. Uh, I'm gonna weigh him in a minute. I'll get the net. Right. Oh, yeah. It's coming. I'm going to go back my back. See him trying to turn that way again. Now look up. Just want to go that way. Pull him up here. This is what happens, people, when you say you're the expert angler and you catch your float of your whip in that branch there. It's got his floats out there. Now, I'm not sure what he's trying to do, but I'm just going to video it in case he falls in because I will cry laughing. Nah, still hasn't come out. And unfortunately he didn't fall in. Damn. The this is off. Abby's first ever carp. The off, mate, so Maybe I was just treating it. Got an injury. Some carp spray, carp first aid spray. This is Abby's first ever carp. We weighed it in at seven pound one ounce. Gave Abby a hell of a scrap, didn't it, Abs? Bring the net and the there we are. Very well behaved. No, you were saying? Very well behaved. Right, Abby. Morning. When you lift it up, you're going to put your finger around there and your hand around here. Right? So if you slide them where I was. Right, so then lift that. 
after that. It's all right, it's all right. Right, keep a hold of her nice and firmly. What do you reckon, Abs? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Right, should we get her back? Yeah. Well done, love. Right to be on this in my door. Don't mind there, is it? No, it's not yours, but you're fucking me. You want the scales? Um, I. I don't think it's going to be bigger than 15 years. Mm -hmm. I reckon it's another 9 there. Ah, no, I reckon 10. I reckon it's still the figure. Yeah. Nine twelve. Nine twelve, take off six, three pattern nicer. Fish I have a double. Good. Ah. Probably juggle this fish in the lake. Hey, it's a fish. Oh. Oh no, it's the uh Not a bad fish at all. Hey guys, sit rep. Still no fish. 
It's ten to eight, still no fish. However, something has been playing around with my rod. So I've changed tactics, um, brought in the hair rig, uh, and I put out the meta treater. So something obviously it seems to have paid dividends because someone's been playing about with the line. You can see the line being pulled through the water. So something's around there and likes it, so I'm gonna keep doing that and feed the swim. And guess what? Scott is still in bed. Part time fisherman, see? Can't trust them. Catch in a bit. Got this lovely little common off peg three. Went off like a steam rocket, fair play. Really happy. Yes, there's a bit of blood coming from the mouth, but we put carp first aid spray onto it. I'm gonna get it back. Lovely yeah, we'll common. Put some more on before we put it back, mate. Yeah. Beautiful. Fish number nine, by the way. Right. Wow. Hey guys, well, I haven't done much filming today on Bank Holiday Monday. Um, obviously, we haven't, well, we haven't done much fish apart from now. Scott and I uh, left AJ and Abby on peg two. Uh, they're using the whips, getting a little roach out and whatnot. They're having fun. So we've come up to peg three. And I'll show you now. I'm out there. Scott's over there. Oh, uh, over there. Now, I've just had a, because you've seen that common. I didn't weigh it. But obviously, with the injury, I wanted to get back in the water. Uh, we did spray it. Used the carp first aid spray. Very good stuff. I would rec highly recommend any angler to have that in, its, in their tackle bag. Ready to go. Uh, but yeah, recast. Took, took the rod, whipped it around. I honestly thought it was like, wow, it's one of the big ones. But not, never mind. I will say, though, with this fishery, even the small fish, like five, six pounds, they fight. And they do fight. Yeah, bloody hard fighters. Yeah, Scott said bloody hard fighters, and they do. So, yeah, we've, uh, I honestly thought today was going to be a blank, I really did. So, all you need now is for Scott to catch. He's had a couple of serious knocks, but they haven't actually taken the rod on the run yet. Yeah, we've still got a few hours to go, and we're going to make the most of it. So, Bring you back in a bit. Morning, guys. How are you doing? Well, yeah, busy morning. Uh, Sun is all sadly awkward from the central end. Uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic week all year in Elton Barn. Um, I'll pop, pop all the links in the description to the website. I would highly recommend it. Whether you just want to bring his heads up for a few days and chill out or you want to do some fishing or both like we did highly recommend it <coughs> yeah I didn't do much filming yesterday because we were, uh, only caught the one fish sadly after the friendly activity on Saturday I thought we would have been in for a better day but no wasn't the case but hey that's fishing we all know that um, Scott I am absolutely gutted for literally last night about an hour before he packed up uh, his left hand was out there screened off another cook and a cow under the snag so <laughs> no, he had one of the fish uh, heavyweight fish in here uh, he got about four feet off the bank he saw it lovely uh, mirror cow beautiful and it was a slap it was a big bugger slap on Oh, sorry, through the hook. Oh, I felt that different. That would, have, that would have been his new TV, I think. And the fish in a session. But hey, it's fishing. So I will um, just say now thanks for all the subscriptions. The new subscribers, thank you all. It means a lot. Smash that like button. Um, I'm really pleased with the feedback I've had on the new fishing vlogs I'm doing. For that, thank you. It means a lot. And uh, you know, if you haven't seen me in the bank, don't be don't be afraid to come over and say hello. Unless I've just missed a fish, then I might be a bit peeled. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, oh yeah, before I go, remember, go on the tackle. It's where I got a lot of my gear from. Um, quite a number of my hair rigs for this trip. Uh, quite a bit of bait I I used. I bought from on the tackle. 
store. I will be putting the link to them in the description as well. It's a local tackle shop and I firmly believe you support your local tackle shop. Anyway, catch you soon guys, take care.